I made this white oak bench earlier this year and the waterborne finish just wasn't holding up that well so I decided to paint it black. If you want to see the project video I'll have a link to it down in the description below. I'm using the Fuji Q5 spray system and the paint is Command by Benjamin Moore. I've used Command on a few projects this year including a fiberglass exterior door and I'm really happy with the results. The paint lays down really nicely, dries very fast, and seems to hold up to the weather. Before painting the bench, I gave it a light sanding with 220 sandpaper. And as you can see, I'll start with the bottom of the bench first. Keep in mind that I haven't thinned the paint. Even though the Command paint has a thin viscosity, which helps it to flow through the gun, it also covers really well. It's been maybe 25 minutes and it's dry enough to touch so I can Flip the bench over, yeah it's definitely dry enough, and paint the other side. I sprayed that last coat last night, maybe around 5.30. I didn't clean the gun out. The paint just remained in the gun. And when I go to try to spray it now, chances are it's not going to spray. And that's because there's just a little bit of dried paint right at the tip there. Just kind of scraped that away. I don't know if you can see that. And now it should work. And so you can see I'm Spraying in a horizontal, if I switch the tip like this, I'll spray vertical. So I'm just going to spray this two more times today, or two more coats on the top, and that'll be it. I finished with the last coat, and now I'm going to clean out the gun. I'll kind of give this a shake in the can and then pour the rest into the can of paint. Then take a rag. And I'm just going to get most of this paint out of the cup and I'll do the same thing with the, with the tube on the gun. So it's good to have a piece of cardboard or something on your workbench. Obviously you don't want all of this paint, but you can let this dry and then once it's dry, you just throw it right in the trash. So you can see most of the paint is out of the cup and I'll finish washing it out with water. After wiping the paint out of the cup, I rinsed the cup and the gun with water. And then I ran just about a half a cup of water through the gun wiped out any of the remaining water. Now I'll put the gun back on the cup and run air through the gun for just about a minute or two. Running the air through the gun gets rid of any of the moisture that could be in the gun. This is old lacquer thinner and I just continue to reuse it. I'll put about a quarter of a cup in the cup and run a little bit, little bit of this through the gun for just about 15 seconds and then let the lacquer thinner sit in the gun for a few hours and then run the lacquer thinner again. Actually, I'm gonna run it right back into this container.
Okay, well, I didn't get to it yesterday, so I let the lacquer thinner stay in the gun overnight. There's maybe two inches of lacquer thinner in the cup. I'm going to spray the rest of that into this container, and then I'll spray a little air through the gun. There's still a little lacquer thinner in the cup, so I'm going to pour that back into this container. And I'll grab a rag, wipe out the cup. You can see the rag will be kind of dirty. The idea of leaving the lacquer thinner in the gun for a few hours is to loosen up any paint that might be in the gun. And once I finish doing this, I'll just blow a little more air through the gun and this gun is ready to use next time. So I don't go too crazy cleaning out the gun. I know some people take them apart, but I've been using this gun for about three years to do this, just spraying paint. And as you can see, I'm still working great. And that's about all there is to it. I should add that I do have two guns, one for spraying paint and one for spraying clear finishes. And that's a good idea because if you're going to spray something like lacquer through a gun that you're spraying paint in, there's a good chance that there's just a little bit of paint somewhere in the gun here and that'll come out into your clear finish. So an easy way to avoid that is just have two guns. I also like to strain the old lacquer that I, or lacquer thinner that I use for cleaning the guns. Occasionally I'll just pour this through a strainer gets rid of any of the particles. I do want to remind you of all the woodworking plans on my website. If you're looking for a project, I hope that you'll click on the link right here or down in the description. I got a lot of great furniture builds and they all have video tutorials right here on YouTube. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. If you would like my help building the furniture for your home, I hope that you'll visit my website at johnpeters.com and check out my furniture project plans. With the large variety of projects and links to the video tutorials right here on YouTube, I know that you'll find something that will inspire you to spend more time in the shop and build something beautiful for your home.